Hi class, this is a tutorial to assist you with doing scientific research. The first thing that you should have done is found what disease that you will be researching by way of being caused by a bacterium or being caused by some virus. As you've made that decision using, of course, the zoonotic disease chart, you will then bring yourself to the coastalalabama.edu website. Upon arriving here, what you should do is navigate over to Students. Once you get to Students, make sure you scroll down to where it says Library. Where it says Library, please click. Upon clicking there, you will then direct your attention to the Alabama Virtual Library. Also click there. Now that you've clicked the Alabama Virtual Library, you will then go to View All Resources. And the reason you're doing this is to get to the point at which you can do research. Upon arriving at View All Resources, we will then use the Academic Search Premier. Once you click that, you may very well get a new tab, and that new tab will bring you to EBSCO Host do it by way of the Academic Search Premier. So now that we are here, I'm just going to type in, I'm going to type in a very quick phrase listed with, oh, with Lyme disease. And as you can see, with autofill, Lyme disease has come up, and I will click Lyme disease now. As I click it, the search has begun. Now that I've clicked search, it tells us that there are at least 1,300 resources. And to be exact, there are 1,326 different resources related to Lyme disease. Now that we've navigated here, I'll say please include and ensure that the limiter here is full text. As you can see here to your left, full text has already been selected here. Thereafter, upon viewing all of these results, I would say please ensure that your results come from an academic journal, maybe a magazine, or even a review, and I would also accept a newspaper too. So now that we are here, it says that this is a full text article, and of course, it being full text, you are enabled to download this article. So it just states, Practices of Lyme Disease Diagnosis and Treatment by General Practitioners in Quebec. It says 2008 to 2015. And if you look quite closely, this is an indeed recent article published just this year in May. And let's now navigate to the article simply by clicking where it says PDF Full Text. Upon clicking, it then gives us the article itself. And depending upon the browser you use, you may very well download this document here to save it to your computer or even download it then print it for read and review. So this is the article itself and before I get too far into the article, notice the article is nine pages long. Hi, this is Laura Rebeck. Also, as you do see this, it states that it has a DOI here and this DOI is used to of course cite any and every scientific article that has been published. So ensure that you include your DOI in the event that you use an article that has a DOI, and most will. So it tells us that this is a research article, and it's from BMC Family Practice. So the first thing we now see is the title of the article, and then here are those authors. Please list all authors as they ought to be listed per what you have for APA reference citations. And the next thing that you'll see in all of these articles is the abstract. The abstract tells you all about what you are, are about to read about. So it's, in essence, a summary of the article. So of course you see here there is the background. Thereafter the background are the methods, the results, and of course the biggest thing of which would be those conclusions. So as you move away from the abstract, you will then get to the background, or at least the introduction, or whatever it's called in the article that you're reading. I would say this would be one of the best places to find, as it states here, background information on your said disease. So upon looking at this, please take your time to read it and if there are any questions, contact me at any time to have those questions answered. But as you go through the article, I'm going to pick up the base, there will be a discussion of what was researched here in the article and then finally there will be the conclusion. And in the conclusions class, they give you what they can conclude and even what could not be concluded in the study. Thereafter, you will then find those references. So the references are listed here, much in the way the references would be listed in your paper. 
I would not say copy them as they're listed here. However, you can also use the references listed here to aid in finding other resources for your research paper. And what I'm getting to is when you go back to page one and see this very first sentence of the article, it references reference one. So there you have it. So I would not say you have to limit yourself to using EBSCOhost by way of the Alabama Virtual Library. Another resource you could use is Google Scholar. <clears throat> so I use DuckDuckGo. So the quick DuckDuckGo search has got, gotten us to this page to show us Google Scholar. So let's go ahead and click to scholar.google.com as another, another place to find research articles. So now that we're here, I'll type in the very same that I typed in before, being Lyme disease. Here is Lyme disease. And of course, here it is, Lyme disease, a tick-borne spirochetosis. Excuse me. So as you can see, this article here it was published in 1982. On the left-hand side, you can sort by giving yourself a custom range of articles, being, of course, using the most recent articles you can find. But even more important, would be on the right hand side of the page. As you look here, this tells you that the PDF is here and available to you from the NIH.gov. Use.gov, please use.gov. And what I'm getting to is this article is here and it is available and there are 12 different versions. So let's click that and maybe by clicking it you'll see what I mean. So now that I've clicked the class, it shows the differing results here. So it shows this instance of the article that is freely available because that first article, as I stated earlier, or at least the first one of these, is not available. Next, this is only a citation. You can't do anything with a citation. If I scroll down, here is yet another place to get this article freely and available to you. So I mentioned it being a .org or this being a .edu. So to help you out, as you do your searches, please only use those results from a, a website that is .edu. It should be from a website class that is .org or from a website that is .gov. Otherwise, I would say those websites you gather information from, such as something such as .com, may very well not be a reputable website. Here we go. I'll show you one more place to find articles. So, of course, it is called the CDC. Here we've now arrived at the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention website. So, to be quick here, the only thing you ought to do is type in the name of your disease. And, of course, here's the name of the disease. I click enter one more time. And the name of the disease typed in. And now you have a lot of information that you could very well use on Lyme disease. And I would say one of the best resources I would say on Earth. So if there are any questions, again, let me know. Do not hesitate ever to let me know. Thank you, and of course, research well. Please use your rubric that has been uploaded to Canvas to ensure that you have the correct number of sources for your article. So having done this, I would hope if there are any questions, you please email me the questions you need to have so I can assist you with the research paper. So please start now so that you can finish early and you're not attempting to finish this research paper far, far too late. As ever, if there are any questions, please email me or call me anytime, class. Happy research and ride well.